Good morning, Redeemer. My name is Julia Jelima, and I moved here a year ago from South Carolina. My third Sunday in Bozeman, I found Redeemer, which was exactly a year ago today. This past year, I've had the pleasure of volunteering with Zoe Care, Bozeman's life-affirming pregnancy medical clinic. Standing here with me today is Kira Kitzman, Zoe Care's new development director. Romans 12 says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Hanging up in my apartment, I have a little pink polka dotted cross. It reads, every good and perfect gift is from above, James 1.17. My parents gave me that little cross when I was young to remind me of the ultimate value given to me by my creator before I ever was held in my mother's arms. What a good reminder. My parents emphasized the value of human life from the get-go with us kids. I grew up wanting to be involved in this issue, but was quickly deterred by the volatile nature of abortion. I delayed truly getting involved with my local pregnancy centers until this recent move to Montana. And here is what I've learned since. We can best love the children, the mothers, and the fathers involved when we give them grace first. It is life-changing to hear firsthand stories of redemption for those hurt by abortion. And God quickly begins to soften your heart towards others, even when they disagree with you. All in all, we are not able to change hearts by ourselves. God's power through us does that. We are called, however, to carry each other's burdens, Galatians 6, 2, to honor one another above ourselves, Romans 12, 10, and to be merciful, just as our Father is merciful to us, Luke 6, 36. Zoe Care gives all of us an opportunity to practice loving the men, women, and children of Gallatin Valley in these ways. It is an honor to serve alongside the other volunteers that keep Zoe Care going, and it is a greater honor to serve a God that can use such simple humans like us in such wonderful ways to protect his creation. Zoe Care works incredibly hard to protect human life. Every human life that walks through Zoe Care's doors the mother, the father, and the child is treated as a good and perfect gift from above. Natalie was one such woman that received care during a difficult time. And here's her testimony. These are her words. I walked into Zoe Care in November 2022. I was scared and I felt completely alone when I found that I was six and a half weeks pregnant. The staff made me feel so supported and not judged. They prayed with me after I asked, and I knew when I was leaving, I would have to make the biggest decision of my life. I felt so blessed to meet my mom-to-mom -mom mentor. She reached out to me after I left the clinic, and for the next several months, she checked in and was consistently a great resource for me. I was in constant communication with her regarding the internal battle I was facing, whether I wanted to keep my baby or not. I kept in contact with her during the two abortion appointments I made, and I leaned on her for support. Ultimately, I couldn't go through with the abortion and decided I needed to keep my baby. I never felt alone during that process, because I knew I had a friend who would be there to listen to me cry and hear my struggles. I am now approaching my due date and feel like the most blessed mom to my baby boy. I never would have thought things would turn out this way, but every day I am so thankful I made the decision I did. I keep in contact with my Zoe Care mentor and am beyond grateful for all the tough nights, weeks, and months she has helped me walk through. I have never been so happy in my whole life and can't wait to meet my son. And I think we have some photos that are updated of the family. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe we don't. Or not. <laughs> But we have, photos. we have really cute photos of Natalie, her husband, and her little boy. They took Christmas family photos. Thank you, Julia. Um, as Julia just said, my name is Kira. I just started working at Zoe Care as a development director just about a month ago, so I am totally green. Um, today kicks off our baby bottle campaign here at Redeemer. So basically, we're going to have some baby bottles um, back at this back table in the lobby. And we'll be passing those out. Feel free to take them home. You can fill them with change, cash, or check. And these donations will directly fund the care that our patients receive at Zoe Care. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Zoe Care, we are a life-affirming um, clinic. A medical clinic, and we offer pregnancy testing, ultrasounds, STD testing, um, totally free of charge. And we've been serving the Gallatin Valley for a little over 40 years now, so pretty great. Um, we see about 600 patients annually. Some of our patients, they're delighted to be pregnant. They come into our doors and they're crying when they hear that baby's heartbeat. Um, and then other patients, you know, they have a roller coaster of emotions in facing an unplanned pregnancy, so we kind of see it all. Um, we know that about 40% of women having abortions are active churchgoers. Um, so this is a high call for the church to get involved in this issue. Uh, we strive to open up this conversation about unplanned pregnancy and abortion in a really compassionate way, um, showing these women and their partners a lot of grace, um, the grace that Jesus has shown us. So that's our safe harbor training. We offer training for the churches to minister to these women and their partners. Um, and we also provide um, help for women who are suffering from uh, the effects of abortion. Um, and we also offer mentoring programs for moms and dads as they prepare to become parents. Um, we offer free diapers and we connect them to obtain free resources for their child. Um, if you'd like to hear more about these programs and the ways in which we are serving our community, feel free to come and talk with me at the back at the table. Um, I'll be at the table in between services and after second service as well. Um, and I also want to take a minute to thank you for your support over the years. I know a lot of you have supported us through volunteering, through donations, and um, through your prayer. And I just want to thank you so much. We are so, so grateful for you. And we would not be serving our community without the support of our churches. So thank you so much. Um, please pray for us in 2024 as we seek to um, as we seek the lost and the hurting and show them unconditional love and care. Um, please pray that 2024 would be a year in which we empower many to choose life and we're able to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Okay.